guys it oaks welcome to the channel and thank you for watching the blues are flying back home please don't forget to like subscribe share one click away my friend and you all set so the blues are coming back to london after one week in the training camp in abu dhabi the bad the good and the ugly <laughs> it wasn't all rosy but i have my five talking point or my five takeaways from the camp it wasn't all rosy but also it wasn't all bad so let's go anyways people you know we love abu dhabi right this is the place that we won the last trophy in the main team under Roman Abramovich, you know, the club woke up. Remember that penalty from uh, Mr. Kai Harvard, the silky German. And uh, we love the place. It's so spiritual. It's beautiful. It's warm. And the players had good time until the last game. <laughs> the last game when we lost one of us, a soldier that died, quote unquote, in the battlefield so broja we don't know the outcome to be honest i saw a lot of doctors on social media explaining to us that it could be a, an acl injury which is really a big blow for chelsea football club i don't want to even think about it at the moment fingers crossed let's pray that something good is going to happen and it's going to be probably a minor injury so my five talking points number one the kid got a lot of experience during this camp number two mr pora scouting report so uh pora did his own scouting this time he never had really like time for pre-season or learn about those youngsters but he saw it himself and Hopefully, it's going to be a good outcome for the youngsters from the academy. Number three, injury walls continue. Uh, number four, we are not ready. Number five, we need to buy if. There is a big if that I will develop because we have to keep in mind the top four goal for Chelsea this season. I'm not telling you that we're going to make it, but you need to set up some goals before every season in order to fight for that goal. So if you go and tell me, oh no, because we have a lot of injuries, because we are in transition, because because we don't care about top four, and then people are not going to fight. So you might not get there, but you have to set up some goals in advance so you can, uh, you can be working on uh that goal you know what i'm trying to say here so people let me uh develop a little bit what i meant by uh good experience for the kid people like omari hutchinson what a player listen if i was poorer i was going to tell him go in the academy pack your bags i will give you a locker in the first team you know i'm sick and tired of putting down those kids you know just like musiala 16 years old not good enough not chelsea level you need thousand more loans bra 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 what happened straight to the first team at bayern munich because you need somebody to trust you you need somebody to allow you to make mistakes and learn that's how a young player can develop but the theory and narrative in the Chelsea community is that, oh, we are not Arsenal. Oh, we don't develop people. Oh, this is not Chelsea DNA. Listen, Chelsea were created in 1905, not in 2004. So all the young generation still think that the DNA, according to them, is buying, selling, insulting, Binning everybody that is not doing good for a short period of time, not coaching, not trusting. 
that that is the dna according to them but listen the dna is from the beginning it's from the day one that is the dna of the club not like something that you learn in the old age that is not the dna anymore so hutchison charlie webster uh lois hall already proved uh proved to people what he can do but hutchison especially i was so impressed by him let's go number two porter scouting yeah he saw it it's time for you to have big balls and make decisions instead of okay i'm gonna play raheem sterling because he costs such amount of money and he's on 350k a week i'm gonna play mount because uh, he's such and such you're not performing bench them okay give a chance to people who want to be there who, are, who have something to prove okay pay play hakim ziach play Pulisic, play hutchison play whatever sansa bell from the academy play the kid if those uh players those old players don't perform injuries yeah i was thinking that this camp we're gonna see a little bit of race gems or ruben loft or chick or but all of them were walking in the gym, you know, light kick, kick on the ball. Uh, ben Shiwa and Golo Kante, we didn't even see him all the time in the gym. So I, I am uh, not really sure. And, um, and that is my point. Number four, we are not ready because just because somebody is coming from an injury doesn't make you automatically good in the next game. If that makes sense, it's going to take you time. To learn again to adapt again to, to be much fit again and start performing so you uh let's say fofana kante uh chile gems all of them yes they can come back but there is no guarantee that we're gonna start performing immediately because it's a long process of recovery you know what i mean and number five we need to buy if listen you know that i'm not a big fan of buy 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 i want to trust what we have but like i said if we want to finish top four top four is going to be huge for chelsea football club because it could help us attract people like leao or joao felix or you know jude bellingham or those big names that we, we we've been linked with if we are not uh, top four and we go to Europa League or Conference League it's going to be hard for them to come and play for us but listen it's going to be just for one season uh, yeah let, let me take that back because I think we are Chelsea and we can still attract big names because we pay them a lot of money anyways so we still can attract some 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 big players but also um also we have to we have to to keep pushing until the end we just don't give up you know so if we don't if if all our players our injury players are not ready and then we're gonna need probably couple of players in january okay and if the news about hakim ziesh and the christian police living in january is true and then we're gonna have to bring some people to help us push for for top four but if in january it's gonna be too expensive to bet to, to to get players and then i don't mind i don't mind waiting my friends uh, that's what i said when we signed lukaku no let's wait give tammy abram a chance let let develop tammy abram for one more season while we are waiting for erling Haaland or harry kane or somebody else because i didn't see how lukaku was going to work in uh thomas took system oh no we have to spend we have to spend 100 million in the drain and even last summer we spent 300 million who is the player that you will tell me is taking us to the next level all of them average so far so what the point of spending that money what they, they are doing better than what we got already like the academy just trust the academy wait for the right opportunity it is what it is my people god bless you be cool like ngolo kante think outside the box and i'll see you next time